Hello my beautiful souls! Today I'm going to talk more about in case that you find yourself that maybe you are asking for too much or that you are too much for someone or that maybe you are not worthy of love or similar situation. I just want to clarify some things for you just to make you think more as usual. But before I continue to talk about this, I would like to present myself. My name is Irina. I'm, uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm here to simplify your life. At least that is my intention, be giving you insights about life, name it, everything that crosses my mind and that I see that can be useful for you. Uh, if you find any of things that I'm doing useful, please do consider to support my channel by giving me a like, feedback and subscription, please do, sus do subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you're not into my channel, ciao! I'm talking to you like you are my friend, I hope that you feel the same way too. In case that you think that maybe you are asking for too much, speaking about love relationships for example, this can be applied for any kind of situation in your life, uh, just to, you know, make you think about your beliefs you have, uh, I would like to uh, be more focused on love relationships because it is another thing that I see so often that people simply think they always blame themselves like if they are in a situation that maybe uh, someone make them feel uh, guilty for asking love, for asking attention and uh, anything, they instead of stop and think maybe i'm not asking for too much i'm just asking for things that i'm giving so before you start to feel guilty or to you know just it happens so often that people rather than um questioning their beliefs and their values they rather uh, blame themselves for asking things they give this is in case that you give the same that you are asking for Hopefully, finally, you will realize that you are not asking for too much as long as you give the same. You're just asking the wrong person. Yes. That's impossible. Because uh, in case that you are in that kind of relationship that someone always blaming you for asking, that you are asking too much from them, they don't realize that you're not asking for too much. They just don't uh, can't match your needs. This should be like a stop sign for you to sit down and to talk with your partner uh, to see what is really happening there. And maybe if you're not on the same level, then always, when I said to sit down and talk, it is always about looking for solution, not blaming each other. Avoid that because your partner should be your best friend and you should be communicating in the way that you feel comfortable with each other. But usually this don't happen. Uh, happen in why? Because people, you know, accumulate many things and at the end relationship uh, you feel exhausted. But you don't feel exhausted because you are were asking too much. You feel exhausted because you repeat the same things over and over again and you don't have uh, the feedback that you are asking for. And this is what is exhausting you. And you should be avoiding that. In order to avoid it, you should be sitting down and talking. Because love shouldn't feel exhausting. Love shouldn't make you feel like, like you are asking for too much as long as you give the same. Otherwise, it makes no sense. You can't ask for things that you don't give in the first place. So please don't equate love with suffering. Don't lower your standard just because someone is not capable to reach your needs. Rather, look for those who match your needs and you will see that you are not asking for too much. Don't equate love with forcing. Love can't be forced. You can't ask for people to give you what you give them. If they don't see that, you can't force them to give you that. That's something that they should be working on, not you. Because love is simple and it flows naturally. Love should feel easy, love should flow naturally and love has a uh, healing effect on you. So you must always ask yourself how do you feel and to check with your partner how they feel. That's a basic thing. Yet. People complicate so much because they don't understand these things, but here I am. <laughs> Loving sometimes doesn't feel easy and that is okay, that is the part of the journey. Not because love is not easy, but because simply life happens so as life situations. And of course, we are all different. You might love someone, but in the same way, in the, in the same time, 
but I'm sure that there you will find things that you don't like about them and that is okay. I'm sure that your partner will find things that they don't like about you, but this doesn't exclude that they don't love you because love is acceptance. You are accepted as you are. Those things they don't like about you, well, as long as they don't try to change you and is, as long as that is your essence, that is okay, you know, because uh, when you love someone, you accept them completely. You don't ask them to change those things that they don't like about you. They just uh, will inspire you to be a better version of yourself. Okay? So please, don't confuse life with love. Okay? Love should feel easy, although life can be very hard sometimes. That's why you must choose your partner very wisely. You must choose the one who will accept you completely and who will love you for who you are. And of course, someone who will hold your hand uh, while you face any obstacle together. Like I said, life can hit you very hard, so you need someone you can lean on. We all need that. However, if your choice is to be with someone who seems so difficult to love or someone that um, make you feel that you are difficult to love or where you stay somewhere where it seems like it is difficult to that you have to force love that you have initiating that you always have to feel like uh, you have to do something and at the end you feel exhausting <laughs> remember what i said before you can't force love no matter how much you love someone no matter how much you like someone if uh, your feedback is the way that you feel drained, then dear, you don't ask for too much. You're just asking a wrong person for you. Okay? Just because that person is wrong for you, it doesn't mean that it's wrong for someone else that I must accent that it is wrong person for you. And you can't force them to change. Uh, that's not love. That's selfishness. The thing is that you are just looking for love in wrong places and in wrong people for you. That's why that is um, important to find someone who has heart only for you. Someone whose love feels so easy and don't forget to communicate. Because like I said, life will be hard, but you mustn't forget love. So communicate and teach each other uh, lo love language because uh, you, it is important. Uh, Ultimately, that you need to find someone who speaks your soul language, but you also have to teach them your love language as well to understand someone's love language. But it must flow naturally and it must feel easy. Okay? You can't force someone to understand you if they don't show the will to understand you. You must be with one who won't give up on the first obstacle and when life gets hard you feel like you are the only one in the relationship no <laughs> no i mean it's your choice you can be if that's something that fulfills you if that makes you feel loved then you do you i'm just trying to make you think more about love and relationships because your uh, relationship will be challenging thanks to those difficult situations thanks to many things that happen on a daily basis because life is not easy but love should feel easy when love feels easy then you will face those obstacles together much easier than you would do on your own that's what you want remember when love feels easy then the relationship is good and it feels like a gem It's like a treasure that you must not bury, but you must take care of it. You must save it and you must nurture it. Because when love and relationship feel easy, then any life situation will feel much more easier. If you face any situation, life situation in relationship, but you feel like you're on your own, then you must sit and down and to talk with yourself in the first place and then to vocalize how you feel with your partner and to always find a solution because you both deserve love. But everything starts there with self-love. So if someone tell you or if you say to someone that they are asking for too much, then watch this video again. Uh, maybe you are not asking for too much, maybe they don't ask you for too much, maybe you're just not match. And 
and think about this and like I said always communicate there is no need for drama or for fighting there is always a civilized thing to find a solution and it's called communications so please um, do what is best for both of you you can't force love but I will love you and continue to share these kind of videos with you in my next video bye